good morning, good afternoon, good evening, happy time zone, everybody. This is the road to dusk. You can call me road, dusk, anything that you would call a friend. I am a dream usher, focusing on sleep, dreams, and the imagination to help create an environment where people can learn to be the better versions of themselves. Up, oh, apparently. This whole time, my phone decided to not connect to my daggum... Come on, buddy. You are connected, you son of a biscuit. Excuse me. I know you're connected. There you go. Picky, cheeky, son of a... Ah. Anyway, hello. <laughs> really hope that everyone is doing well. Notaic, how you doing? It's been a hot minute since the I've done... Snack on my screen. <laughs> If I was a snack, what the hell would I be? Um, okay. I know that, one, it's been a super duper hot minute since we've done anything regarding Final Fantasy. Doing good. But daggum it, friendo? I, At no tyka, zathel, howdy. I am going no to tyke. use yeah, the subscription that I bought to my advantage because I was a dumbass, partly. I panic bought. Um, a subscription because I wanted to uh, cause, uh, a friend of mine got me a code for like the Goncha uh, collaboration Howdy that they were Zelda doing player 99 but I, it was a duplicate or may have been a duplicate or something because it did not work for me so I wasn't able to get uh, the the mount so I'm a little I'm a little sad on that but I'm going to make the most of it because I am this close to finishing up at least a Realm Reborn. And if that's going to be the case, then yeah, I, I want to get through this as much as I can. <laughs> uh, if anyone does want to join me on here, I am on uh, Marlboro. Uh, yep, currently What queue. kind of snack would you be? A sweet one. Obviously. <laughs> well, I mean, like, which which snack exactly? Would I be, like, hockey? Would I be, like, a mazapan? I wouldn't be mazapan. Like, what what specific snack would y'all think? Because I'm genuinely curious. Also, let me know if I am being, like, too loud or anything like that. Let me know if y'all can hear everything with the game okay. Song gauge You'll unlocked. You'll have an answer in five to ten business days. <laughs> oh, these are new. No. Recommendations. Okay. I do switch a lot between, um, mouse and my controller, so bear with me. Where am I? Because I have to be somewhere near Mordona. Am I attuned to any? Thing that is nearby. A switch? Not. I thought you were a bottom. I am a bottom leaning switch, thank you. I have a lot of bottom moments, but I do have my switchy moments. Um, actually. Because, okay, the Black okay. Shroud seems to be close enough. Well, Thanalyn is actually... Mm, Likely story. It's... Ah, this gets me down to Thanalyn. Do I have to go down to Thanalyn in order to be able to... Because... 
Yes, I need to get somewhere. I'll volunteer to find out if that's true. I need to go south J. in order to get some more uh, more Zona. So, which way from here? Oh, oh well. Derp. There we go. Hi, Joss. Yeah, cutie. <laughs> How we doing, Toby? Um, yes. I forgot this place was snowy. Oh! I have been despising the weather lately. I want snow. I want cold. You... Okay. For context, y'all do not know how giddy I was. I was like a kid on Christmas when it was snowing on Doing Halloween. Okay. Taking a break from uni work. Set. Okay, um, where are my attacks? There they are. Okay. Ooh. Let's do a little bit of leveling up. Because I'm assuming that with us getting close to the final boss, I'm going to need... Somehow. I don't want snow. I want perpetual spring slash fall, like in New Zealand. <laughs> Guess I am a make a Famfrit character XD. <laughs> but yeah, no, I was extremely giddy when it ended up snowing in my area on, on Halloween. Like, sure, sad for the kids, they couldn't go out trick or treating, but considering the fact that, um, when it comes to like uh, Irish paganism and Irish traditions, Samhain or Halloween was seen as the start of winter because traditionally there were only seen as two seasons, summer and winter. It just felt so poetic to me last year. <laughs> Time to roll dice on my character, lol. <laughs> Summer and winter. Sounds like the British Isles. <laughs> Alrighty. I am still quite a ways from leveling up. And Rusi. <laughs> I probably should have had my chocobo out. Russia asterisk. <laughs> oh, oh, hi, big guy. <laughs> Jaws. You're not gonna believe this, but you're amazing, adorable, and cute. Agreed. Agreed. Toby is cute. Toby is amazing. Joss, but I Toby now. Yo, Yo's is one of your many names. With, with how many names that you have, Toby, you are honorary dissociative. <laughs> What's this? What's this dungeon here? Joss, Toby, Val, Michael. <laughs> Have I been to this one yet? Who? Honorary did. <laughs> I say that completely jokingly. <laughs> Gods, if any. If anyone heard me say that completely out of context, I'd be fucking cancelled. Toby or not Toby, that is the question. <laughs> Someone, probably. 
<laughs> Zelda, I fucking love you. Oh, I need to get to a Miggle. Uh, adding star, so I can't get to you yet. How about I attune to the eighth right? Also, real quick, I do have a small announcement for you guys. Um, for those that do not know, we are preparing for an affiliate anniversary. Sorry for the bit for the frame rate drop. But real quick, I do want to talk about the uh, affiliate anniversary. We do have several stuff going on uh, with the affiliate anniversary. Not only a giveaway, but an optional donathon. Uh, namely, one of the biggest things that we have going on is a giveaway for up to $250 worth of merch from me, namely related to art. Now, for context on the optional donathon, with the winter com uh, coming, our main job is being weird with ours again, so we're unsure if we will have stable income for the rest of this year. While celebrating two years of streaming with you all, we would like to raise funds to fortify a safety net to combat corporate greed, as well as to create more engaging and unique streaming assets, especially for next summer when we have something very special planned. We've got plenty to prepare for, even more in store, so if you want to know about it, feel free to donate and spread word about the Donathon and Affiliate Anniversary coming up. I will be setting up the donations and the Donathon on Kofi, and we should, and you guys should have access to do any early bird donations by uh, by Wednesday or Thursday. The base school will be two hundred and fifty dollars. That money will go to savings. Any money afterwards may be put to assets uh, for coming content. Should we feel safe to do so, otherwise may be placed in savings as well. Now, we have quite a few incentives, especially for individual donations. Um, not only uh, do we have stuff for like you making us learn a song, getting shout outs, uh, whether for yourself or someone else, so long as you have their consent. Um, you also can get free sketches and free art from me from donating, if you so choose, at a more smaller value. With a $100 donation from one person, you being able to receive a free video edit from Top Hat, because Top Hat is wanting to help out with this as well, especially since he will be starting us off for the affiliate anniversary with his second attempt at an epic Mickey 100% speedrun. To be able to uh, get in the giveaway for up, up to $250 in value of art from me, you need a minimum of $10. It's $10 increments per entry. Now, for a fun bit, we have tiers, very, very special tiers when it comes to some of these donations. Uh, we have a lot of stuff uh, planned, including the inscription card game that will come to uh, Top Hat and ourselves somewhere around March or April of next year. Um, which we definitely want to do that for you guys because that would be a lot of fun. Um, we could all we also have plans for an eight hour retro game night, um, an eight hour Final Fantasy 14 stream, as well as hints for a very, very special new arc that we plan to incorporate sometime in the summer or probably autumn next year. But there is a catch. Some of the tiers are locked. 
if you want to know about these new tiers, these higher tiers, get us up to $350 in the donathon, uh, in the optional donathon during the affiliate anniversary, and you guys will be handsomely rewarded, I can assure you. Hopefully that's enticing. My name is Tobias Ragnar Yozu Michael Valerija, Kaiser of the Commonwealths, Lord Protector <laughs> of Gaia, High Commissar of the World Soviet, Keeper of the Histories. Handsomely? As handsome as you? I mean, that I remains to be seen. I waited till done talking to do that lol. <laughs> Thank you, Toby, I appreciate it. If anyone has also like any questions or needs clarification on anything regarding the affiliate anniversary, Donathon, anything like that, feel free to let me know. If people really want me to set up the uh, donation goal on Kofi sooner, I could probably have that set up after stream, or probably even midstream if people really want to go for it. Well, med friend, what brings you to Reverence Toll? Did I hear you rightly? Your friends are being held captive at Castrum Kentry, and you want to rescue them. Ragnar. I don't mean to discourage you, but that might prove difficult. The stronghold has been on high alert of late, with armored patrols seeing about the perimeter about Going the to clock. Work. Gonna get back to uni work. Yee! Thank you for sticking around, Toby. Not even a fly could get within a hundred a uh, hundred yams of the walls un undetected. If the Garleans were alerted to your coming, we cannot know Take what they'll do to Joss. Benfilia and the others. We must act with the gr with great stealth. Aye. It was to be good old-fashioned infiltration. But with security so tight, how are we going to smuggle ourselves in? Why, I've a mind to walk through the front door. At the front door. Aye, we'll disguise ourselves. We'll disguise ourselves as Imperial troops and march right in. For this, we'll need a few sets of Imperial uniforms, a set of Magitek armor, and impeccable timing. Heh, <laughs> that's a bold strategy, but it might work. Where we are, there's certainly no shortage of opportunities to borrow the equipment. Knowing those Imperial bastards, they won't even suspect that we savage Aorzeans, that, that we savage Aorzeans would think to use their technology. That it's settled. If you're determined to go ahead with this, I'd recommend you speak with a Glomant. The fellow's got a personal grudge against the Empire and happens to know a deal about Castrum Kentry besides. I've no doubt he'll want to be of aid. Ida and I shall go to the the go to reconnaitier uh, Garlean activity at the stronghold. It would not do if something were to befall our comrades before we had the chance to act. Come and join us when you're ready, Gimor. Let's do this. I just realized I need to grab something super quick. Sorry, one of the grab a thing that I forgot. Okay, I return. Sometimes I wonder, Ida. Are there ever times when you're not enthused? I'm nothing if not enthused. Ishulta, I'm nothing but not enthused, Ishulta. And you're beginning to remind me of 
<laughs> Papa limo. Yay, just in progress. Glomant. Come here. Looking for Glomant, are you? Well, you found him, whoever you are. Huh? You're looking to get inside Castrum Kentry, and you need my help? Something tells me we're going to get along just fine. 23k! Oh, that was just an experience. Alright. So you have friends at Custom Country, what want for rescue. That's... that Slothborn knows me too well. Hey, you can count... Uh, you can count on my help. I've got a score to settle with the Imperials, and I never pass on an opportunity to get back on the horse sons. But enough about me, let's talk strategy. Rescuing folk from captivity might... The uh, right delicate... Rest... I, my brain is not wanting to work. Rescuing folk from captivity is right delicate business. A simple oversight, just one little blunder and it's all over. Can't leave any room for uncertainty. Starters, you need to confirm beyond the shadow of a doubt that your friends are where you think they are. You don't want to risk your neck only to discover that they've been moved elsewhere. But how can you find them, you ask? By following these instructions. If you approach Kentry from the east, You'll see a swampland to your left called the Tangle. Get in there. Never mind all the marbles and navigate your way to the southwestern corner. You'll come upon some drainage pipes coming down from the stronghold. Don't ask me how I know, but one of them leads back up to the common uh, to the command tower. If you listen closely, it might be as you can eavesdrop on some of the happenings within. Once we know for certain your friends are there, we'll move to the next stage of the operation. Now get going and go at speed. Alright. Oh, I should probably do doing it the bard way. Let's do this real quick. Hope that everyone's been doing well, by the way. Oh, she! Nobody expects Fee, thank you for hopping in with a raid! Holy moly. What are y'all been up to? Crime scene cleaner? Oh my word! I did not know that that was even a game! But for those that are hopping in, thank y'all so much for hopping in. For those that do not know me, this is the Road to Dusk. You can call me Road, Dusk, anything that you would call a friend. Hi, Rose. I am a dream usher, focusing on sleep, dreams, and the imagination to create an environment where people can learn to be better versions of themselves. Uh, it's where such a is fun game, my LOL. system config? There we go. I want to bump up the graphics a little bit. But I do a lot of gaming. It's been a while since I've done um, like Final Fantasy, but I've been wanting to get back into it hardcore recently. So, hope y'all don't mind. Uh, do 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 Extra resolution. Other NPC. Movement physics. I think I might leave that as is. How do I. Can I turn off some of the weather? Uh. It's... I'll work on this another time, I get a well, little uh Yeah, standard is fine. Sorry, my brain is now like, oh I probably want to uh I can turn off the smoothing. I normally don't worry about that too much. Uh the transparent light glare. 
Okay, I'll just keep it as that for now. Screw it. <laughs> yeah, really hope that everyone is doing well. Um, for those that uh, for those that haven't hopped in recently, we are preparing for an affiliate anniversary as well, actually. If people want me to talk about that again and give a reminder on what all is being prepared for, let me know. Stuff will be posted about it uh, eventually in the community as well as on my socials, which if you want info on that, I believe on some of my socials it's already actually available. So feel free to check out my card um, with a few things. Also, yes, I am in collaboration with Space Panda, who provides CBD and THC products worldwide. If you guys want to be in on that, uh, feel free to use Rosadusk underscore VT for 15% off your next purchase. Uh, that said, we do also have a Discord in collaboration with the Nictar Clan, aka Nebula Socrates. Do you know that when you hop in, you have 15 minutes to verify the friend the rules, otherwise you will be temporarily booted by one of the boss meant to curb against hate breeds and trolls. Uh, we are LGBTQI2 Spirit Plus, neurodivergent disability and mental health forward, and we also do our best to uplift and advocate for BIPOC voices regarding their own experiences. Do know that, like my streams, the community is 18 plus. So please, especially, uh, be cognizant of that. Ah, slightly congested. No idea why. Alright. Howdy Raiders, definitely not probably late with this. <laughs> All good, Zelda. Welcome back, Emor. By a tranquil count... Let's see. Countenance. There are so many words in this game that I... do that I never even read in the book. Goodness hell. Welcome back, Emor. With By your tranquil countenance... It is plain that both your body and soul are in readiness for the next stage of your journey. Very well. The time is ripe that I teach you the ballad of the Vainglorious Fool. The song tells the tale of an archer of the gods, Quiver, whose peerless skill was surpassed only by his hubris. Alas, that hubris led to the annihilation of his entire regiment at the battle which has come to be called the Massacre of Griffin Crossing. Oh, we got an ad going. I'm not going to try and sing that. I, I wish they had a better um, melody or something to go with it, make it a little more unique. What lessons can be learned from this tale? Ah, uh, but hold that thought. That your tongue claims to understand interests me not. As before, I'd sooner have you demonstrate the fruits of your learning with bow in hand. This time, however, you shall have the pleasure of my company. I would have you escort me to the Galmora ruins in the North Shroud. It is there that some few fallen from the massacre of Griffin Crossing have been laid to rest. Pray honor this place of remembrance with a bouquet of lilies. Heed me. The oh oh pissant the uh, Althic. Cast thee back the reins uh, to the firm uh, to the firmament that we might gaze upon the battles of yore. Oh okay. Oh tit. Later, Piki. Okay. Can I? Aha! Wait, am I already in this location? You know, it'll probably just be easier for me to teleport. Ah, uh, I need to blow my nose. Hold on a moment. Got to mute.
Sorry, I just realized that I forgot to unmute. But sorry, my nose has just suddenly gotten beyond congested. So hopefully I'm not catching anything bad. Oh, hi, big guy. Oh, you're only level 37. Come at me, fucker. out of the AOE. Fuck you too. Aha. All right. Oh wait, I need to go north. Couldn't make character in server at the moment, but able to world visit. Okay. I mean, it's still something at least. Where will you let me? Oh, is it inside? No, that wouldn't make sense. Oh. How about I look? Yeah, I'm at level 47, so I sh Uh, no take. Do you want me to wait until, like, you're in my area for me to hop in this, or no? Now you go ahead. Alrighty. Let's go for it. Sorry, I really have no idea why I'm, like, suddenly so congested. Boo. D just boo! <laughs> the enemy van? Oh, buddy! Buddy is PTSD! Buddy boy! Do you need a hug? No. I... I cannot. Oh, the twist is not so Why? Why do I still draw breath? Oh, no you don't. That a sin of the past will beget another. Forgive me, Gimor. I don't blame him. He still has he still hasn't processed it. Yeah. 
Oh, two down. Wait, is it two down? I thought number four against me. Okay. Mono e mono. As you have doubtless noticed, I am no longer capable of wielding a bow. I, whom they call the God's Bow. I had hoped that the years would take the edge off the memories, but I hoped in vain. Absolution does not come so easily. Heed me well, Gimor, for I shall reveal all to you. The man sung in the ballad of the vainglorious Van fool, whose hubris doomed an entire regiment. He and I are one and the same. Being no stranger to the bow, you will know that the archer's role in battle is that of support. His charge is to thin out the enemy line, that his comrades might gain ground in the field of battle. With that most basic of criteria, I was unfit to hold a bow from the first. In my pride and lust for glory, I sent countless souls to a bloody grave. Good men and women all, with loved ones and bright futures awaiting them. I lost the will to live that day, becoming an empty husk of a man, tormented in sleep and wakefulness both by the memories of my crime. But the gods were not without mercy. They gifted me with song that I might find a measure of solace in my wretched existence. A new melody resounds within you, I see. Though this outing was rather far departed from what I had in mind, that it still bore fruit gives me comfort. On that note, let us conclude the lesson. I dare say I have no cause to worry that you'll repeat the self-same mistake as the Vainglorious Fool. Be more. I would be alone for a while. Take yourself back to camp. I shall make my own way there presently. Your empathy unlocks echoes of an ancient melody within. Ooh. Of course, I'm still. Let me out, let me out, let me out. Okay. Going to the bard way. Okay, so we'll just teleport again. 
really hope that everyone's been doing well, by the way. If anyone has any news that you guys want to talk about, feel free. I know things are easier with my truck. I forget. Do I have my truck above? Yes, I do. <laughs> I'm glad to see you safely returned. Though I rest my voice hoarse through, say through the saying of it. I cannot tell you enough times how much I regret dragging you into such danger. And yet, there's more I would ask of you. If you would do me the kindness of lending your ear, then pray speak now. You hear a faint voice carried on the winds of time. The reign of death. Damn. That is... Level 45. You will, you will listen to my request, though you know me for the vainglorious fool I am. I'm humbled. The boon I ask of you is simple. I would have you sing for me. A heartfelt performance, masterfully delivered. You've come far in such a short time, my own apprentice. Hearing your song this day, I'm convinced that you are well on your way to surpassing me. As bard and archer both. Soon there will be naught left for me to impart, in, uh, to impart to you. Be more. You have proven yourself worthy of the consecrated garments worn by the true bars of old to honor the keeper. I speak of the choral attire. The attire was entrusted to me when Puknopoki and I first met, deep within the Twelves Wood. The Mughal and I traced, uh, uh, traded scarce more than a handful of words when he offered to me the, the attire along with the soul of the bard. At that time, I knew not the true power of song, and so declined the gifts, but Puknopoki would not be denied. For all his good humor, the Mughal can be as unmoving as a rock. The attire chooses the wearer, not the other way around, he insisted. And I found myself yielding to his will. In mastering the verses of war, I won a claim beyond my wildest dreams upon the field of battle. And for a time, I was well pleased. Alas, my lust for glory grew no bounds. The consequences of which you are already aware. It was in the wake of the massacre of Griffin Crossing. Stricken with guilt, I wanted not more than the earth to open up and swallow me whole. I'd lost the word live, I. But I was too craven to end it myself. And so I took to wandering aimlessly, in search of a place to die, far away from the judging eyes of men. Disillusioned with the power of song, I committed an act of folly. I scattered the choral attire across the realm. If truly the attire chooses its wearer, I challenged, and let it find its way back to me. Determined that I would not be proven wrong, I went to great pains to ensure that the attire would never again see the light of day. But the pieces now rest in pieces of pa in places of peril. Being the proud fool that I was, it never crossed my mind that mayhap another was meant to don it. I would entrust the coral attire to you, Gimor. But as you can see, you must need brave the dangers to claim it. I shall mark its whereabouts on your map, but I can afford you no further aid beyond that. I am deeply sorry that my folly of years past has entrailed this burden onto you. But Aelthic works in mysterious ways. In his wisdom, it may be that he has sent a trial to test your spirit. I mean not for sentiments to encumber you, 
but I am convinced that you are the chosen by the coral attire. But pray do not take this as license for complacency. Trials wouldn't be called such if they were failed to tax one's ability. Stay ever on your toes, Gimar. I would have you return whole of body and bury the four parts of my surrendered raiment. The raiment. Heed me, Apishanathic. Reverse thee the season's turning, that we might gaze upon the battles of yore. Oh, ho, ho. He's so sweet. Elenosha. This is the past. Oh, I might be able to grab that. Cause I'm curious on these garbs actually. All right. Okay, I need to get around the wall. Would it be for me to fall? How risky would it be for me to fall? I'm tempted to know. <laughs> I'm curious on what everyone has been up to lately. Uh, Fee, especially, I haven't talked to you in a hot minute if you're still, if you're still lurking around. If you're wanting to lurk lurk, uh, let me know and I can leave you be. Oh, do I have to get past you guys? Oh, easy. Oh, which Dark Souls is this? <laughs> hey, Celine! How are you doing? Alright, that's one done. Black Shroud. A quarry mill. Hello, Road. I'm surviving. How are you doing? I'm surviving. I'm doing all right. Got a lot of stuff that I am planning for, excited for, looking forward to. Mainly because it's now been a week since I shipped out, well, rather, Top Hat shipped out for me uh, my 3DS for me to have it modded with a capture board so that I don't have to use, like, emulators and whatnot when doing... 3DS stuff. So pretty excited for that, anticipating uh, my console to come back soon. Because cool. then that means that I can do Tomodachi, Miitopia, and whatnot again. What have you been up to, though? 
Oh. A yellow! How we doing, label? Hug pile time. Hey, legal. How are you, dear bear? I am doing my best. That is an absolute mood. You need a hug, dude? Fuck you. Sing a song that reminds you of legal. I have no idea why, but it's it's not because it reminds me of legal, but I just saw it. The, the, the first song that came to my brain was fucking Piano Man. Oh fuck, I can't sing right now. Hi! for Piano Man because I am not confident in it. But yeah, Piano Man for whatever reason is what popped up into my head first thing. Two! I feel like fucking Axel. Two! the garb it's nine o'clock on a saturday the regular crowd shuffles in there's an old man sitting next to me making love to his tonic and gin he said son can you play me a memory <laughs> i'm not really sure <laughs> how it goes that. but it's sad and it's sweet and i knew it complete when i wore a younger man's clothes where is the garb where is the garb Oh, damn it! It was right there. How do I get up? Play us a song. You're the <laughs> piano man. Play us a song tonight, for we're all in the mood for a melody, and you got us feeling alright. Oh, I need to go all the way around now, don't I? But yeah, thank you for that! <laughs> to there we go oh oh really but I am trying to get my clothes and you're making me have to fucking go all the way around again you piece of shit Look, I know that people love talking about wanting a hunk of fat and juicy meat, but not right now. Fuck you, Pumbaa. And fuck you, whatever the fuck you are, you piece of shit. Come here. Fuck 
fuck, I'm in the wrong place. <laughs> It's nine o'clock on a Saturday. The regular crowd marches in the shuffles in. There's an old man sitting next to me, making the first tonic chin. He said, son, can you play me a melody? I'm not really sure how it goes, but it's sad. Sweet, and I knew it complete when I wore a younger man's clothes. I am almost fucking dead. I'm almost fucking dead. <laughs> Somebody help me! I need it, please. I just wanted to get fucking clothes. Do you it's want me to strip? A streamer man. I don't think the Twitch will like that. <laughs> man, what are you doing? <laughs> Love you too, Top Hat. What level are you? Anyway? I'm level. Fuck, 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 Oh wow, they're advertising jingoist bullshit packaged into a book. How fun. Wait, I'm sorry, what? Also, I'm gonna wait until ads are done before I fin before I continue with Piano Man. <laughs> also, thank you for the full care package. I saw that a little bit ago. But I was getting bombarded <laughs> by pigs. Okay, back to full health. Motherfucker, that was mean. And a Disney advert. They're really bad at targeting. <laughs> back now. Welcome back. Let me get the lyrics up. Play you the sweetest song, you're the piano man. Sing us a song tonight. For we're all in the mood for a melody. You got us feeling alright. I really hope that someone had clipped what I was doing a parody and panic. Don't you have a crowd control skill that can stun something? I don't have crowd control on for Final Fantasy XIV. Oh, fuck! Fuck, 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 fuck! fuck. Leave me alone! Sorry, I didn't clip it. Might go back and look at some point. Yeah, all good. But I thought there was one that keeps things from moving until they're attacked again or 20 seconds passes. X3. I would not be surprised if there was. It's also been several months, almost a year, since I fucking played Final Fantasy XIV! Oh,
Why do you keep using the AoE arrow rain on single targets? Because I am banished. I don't remember which ones are AoE, which ones are single target. Uh, okay. All right, you asshole, come here. The one on the third collection of four buttons. Bottom is an AOE. Got it. So I might want to reconfigure all of my stuff. Oh, it's at the top. It's a fucking kid. There should be one that looks like a hamstring shot, that will keep things from coming closer and engaging for a bit. Um, I need to rem I don't remember how to get to my controls? I have no idea how to do it with a controller. <laughs> X3. Count speed. Where can I change my actions and traits? Show me when it looks like a hamstring shot. Oh, it's like Gray's. Ed Gray's. Have your shot. Increased action damage. At Selini underscore Hailman High, Selini, ya yeah, cutie. So in my actions, because where is this? Garage. Hey, Zelda, you wonderful person, adorable being an absolute cutie. Army's peon. It's good to see you. I think it might have been Leg Gray's under roll, Road. I was just like at Leg Gray's. See, affix a target with heavy. That. That only. Um. You're Makes wonderful, them a little adorable, slower. and an absolute cutie. No, that's not it. They just look similar. Great actions. Oh, those will be fun. I might be remembering wrong. It's been a while for me, too. But it was an archer skill. You. Well, I just got asked to help with something. I'll be back in a bit. All right. We'll be here for a while, so <laughs> Help well, Zelda, and have a lovely time. Yay! Yep, 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 yep. Why do you have a faint here of all places? I don't care if it's an AOE. I want you dead. I 
didn't even hit you! Was it because of the AoE? Oh, I need to wait to heal. And I have no potions on me. Because I am a dumbass. Alright, gonna wait a little bit for my the chain bonus. I am... nope. There we go. Now to Thanalyn. Oh, is in a spot where I don't. I'm not attuned. Damn it. Or I am just farther away. All right. Glad that was over. <laughs> Right now to go north. Actually, before I go too far, I should probably get potions. Merchant Mender. Uh, I should probably repair my gear. Actually? Seems pretty good. Independent armor. Do you have anything better than what I have? No. Do you have anything better than what I have? Nope, nothing that I can... Nothing that I can use. one already? Where? Uh, inventory. Do that. Ether. I need to organize my inventory because this looks- that looked disgusting. Alright, go northward. Let's attune to this one real quick. Having a drink. Alright. Step one. Now for step two. Wait, achievements? What? Okay then. So what's everyone been up to lately? Any fun events? Anything that you're looking forward to? 
I know a lot of us have been pretty busy lately. Ourselves included. Oh, hi. Hi! No! I've been spending more time Fuck off, than healthy in Valheim Fuck lately. Off. Fuck off! Fuck Making off! Making yet another oh, me... stone castle. I'm making another stone castle. Ooh! And fuck, 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 Oh hey, finally getting to the Bardic Inspiration. <laughs> Alright. Where do I need to go from I also here? introduced Saga to a couple of Ice Guy anime and she's now hooked. Nice. Nice, nice. So, when are you going to join the Valheim server? Hmm? I am act I have already joined, um, but I don't know what it is with Valheim as a game or what, but it is hard for me to keep in the headspace to go with it. It is a really cool game. I am not denying it. However, so much shite keeps uh. going on to where with the game still being new to my brain, my brain is like, nope, no touchy. Well, new as in, like, new to my brain. Hi! Who wants my ass? Who is after my ass? Please get away from my ass. No touch, why? But who's after my ass? Really? <laughs> X3. <laughs> I was more asking who's after my ass out of curiosity, not out of actually wanting it. <laughs> what a bottom have standards, damn it. Let a bottom have standards. Since when are you a bottom? <laughs> I am a bottom leaning switch, dadgummit. Oh no. Oh, they're just gnats. Oh, we're fine. Whoever the fuck in my system just try to convince me to say Gucci, I will have you into the fucking wall. Sorry, inner system, like, inner monologue gets funny. I will have you pinned to the fucking wall. Damn, road, letting the kinky out all over the place tonight. <laughs> oh, that's nothing. That is nothing. Actually, it's funny how you mentioned that, though, considering I have been really curious on, um... There's been a new version of... The Jackbox Party! Look! I wanted to jump over! Oh boy. Fuck. Leave me be. There we go. But there's a new version of um, some of the Jackbox games, namely like Faking It, Drawful, and whatnot, 
that have an adult version now, and I'm like super curious on testing the hollows. Because it's also been a hot minute since um, I've done Jackbox. And apparently also um, they've done an update for faking it, uh, especially in congruence to the release of this adult version, where uh, basically it's more accessible for folks that do things online and or don't want to show their face on cam. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you! Give me a chance! HP. All right, now I know I'm in the right area. Just need to be cautious. I am a stealthy boy. I am very much a stealthy boy. Totally not intimidating. <laughs> Fuck you. Pick up the pace, just a little bit. Oh, fuck you! Two! Two of you want me. Why? I just realized I was almost dead! Up something decent. And it's only 20 HP. Or like what? One, two. It's like every three seconds. Oh, this is gonna be a while. Twenty-nine. I go. I'll probably get through the rest of my drink before my health finishes up. I love how silly this music is, though. <laughs> Oh, 
what wants me? Just got a quarry mail. Let's go. So you have returned. Sound of body and mind, I trust. Can you bear the four parts of the coral attire? I knew you for the true owner of these garments ere I heard your song. Since the day we met, your determination has reminded me of much that I have lost, and would have again. I have at last settled my heart on the matter that has plagued me for some decades. But my preparations are complete. You shall know of my decision. Until then, May your song lift the spirits of your allies, and your arrows seek the hearts of your foes. Yay! Now what level do I have to be to talk to you again? Requiem of the Fallen. At level 50. Ah, oh, I'm so close! The final garment of the... Excuse me? You had a piece of the, of the attire with you this entire time, you old man? Oh, fuck you! Going off like, oh, I scattered them all the way because I couldn't bear it. And yet you kept a piece of gar a piece of the garb for yourself? Bro. It's not just making your trauma worse. Like coming from someone who still has um, a gift that was given by someone who had since fucked me and my system over. I, I get the struggle when it comes to like partying with certain things because it's like, oh, the, the memories of what could have been. But it's like you got to learn to let shit go, especially if you're determined to let things go. Because otherwise you're kind of holding yourself back. called Nixes. <laughs> oh, fuck you. <laughs> I gotta stay behind these. Fuck you. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Still didn't work? Oh, fuck you. Yep, 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 yep. Fuck off, fuck off, fuck off. Marvel, you fucking beholder, knock off, fuck off. Oh, you're still coming for me? You bastard!
Are you... Investigate the drainage pipe. Yeah. Oh! Fuck you! How many of these aggroable dolts are there gonna fucking be? Cause this is the pipe! Do I have to do it from the top? Sure seems it. Oh! Fuck, fuck, fuck! Oh, you... You have a lot of health. Now listen here, bunny boy. Strong high. What? <laughs> oh, there's a fate here. to see if I can investigate the pipe, but it's not giving me a prompt. Do I have to be at the top? If so, how do I get to the top? Oh, he still wants me. Move. Move, you fucking Cthulhu ass wannabe. Thank you. Rogue, I thought you were Irish, not post WW2 French. <laughs> hey! Hey! Damn! <laughs> I did not expect to be roasted like that! Damn! Wait. Oh, there's a fucking spot! Alright, fucker. You're mine. What? Ooh, that was perfect! Now, how about I not be in a corner? Roast you? Not since Irish. Gotta bake you like a potato. That that just reminded the the mention of food made me think of how I was like asking earlier, like, oh, if I was a sweet, what would I be? Uh, I, are you implying that I am not even sweet? I am just a big potato? More specifically, actually, if I had to be a savory food, I'd probably be a loaded big potato. Because loaded big potatoes are the shit, especially potato skins. I think Yara. <laughs> Probably ought to level up a bit. <laughs> the faint sound of conversation echoes down the pipe. What of the captive? Does she still refuse to speak? 
She may as well be a deaf mute for all the information we've gotten out of her. The others aren't much better. The owls you can get on my nerves most of all. Every time he opens his mouth, it's only to spout gibberish. I do wonder, why is the Tribunus, the Tribunus so obsessed with this Minfilia woman? They say she possesses some mythical power. Something we Garleans don't have. Mystical power? Like the kind the best men use? The beast men use? How am I supposed to bloody know? You're so curious, why don't you ask the, the Tribunus yourself? As well try to, uh, try to tumble her. I like my head where it is, thank you very much. Our break is over. Best we go back to our stations. Football, the footfalls grow fainter until all is silent. All right. I am definitely going to need to level up a bit more at some point soon. Ah, okay. It's good to see you again. I'm given to understand you've conducted some re uh, a reconnaissance. Tell me, what were you able to learn? So Manfilia and the others are indeed a custom country. Their presence thus confirmed, we may, pr we may proceed with the mission. While you were afield, Sid took the liberty of devising a plan of action. Pray have the details from him. Ah! Not you, Wedge. Good work. As Alpenod has already told you, we've plotted out of the uh, outer course for the rescue. The gist of it isn't changed. We disguise ourselves as Imperial soldiers and infiltrate the stronghold. Glomond is looking into ways to, to procure a suit of Magitek armor. In the meantime, I need your assistance for some preparation of my own. Minfilia and the others are counting on us. Let's not keep them waiting any longer than necessary. Yay! There we go. While Glovman goes about devising his plan, we need to see some preparation of our own. It wouldn't do if the Imperials were to discover that they're short on armor. To prevent this from happening, I'm going to put together a makeshift communications jamming device. The explanation is like to get a bit technical, so bear with me. Imperial forces communicate at a distance via electromagnetic waves. Simply put, voices are borne upon etheric lightning energy that permeates the air. Now, the hill-sized cluster of corrupted crystals to the west has been observed to amplify the self-same energy. By making use of this property, we should be able to drown out Imperial voices. To ensure we have enough amplification, we must identify the most potent crystals among the cluster. For this, I need you to go there and use this device to take readings. I'll mark the likely places on your map. Oh, and just so you know, plasmoids are drawn to lightning energy. Don't be surprised if you run into a few. Five locations! Jesus. The hell are you, Skywatcher? A wise woman once said that she does not pay heed to the sky, but she who does not pay heed to the skies will most surely get wet. It's not advice if you ask me. Would you like to hear what the skies tell us this fine day? Oh, you're a meteorologist! Alright. 
do a little bit of level up. He didn't hurt nobody. Keep going around this, I guess. I'd rather not have to fight you. Hi! Giant ass frog fucker. Oh, there's two. Okay, you're walking away. Good. I'm back with ice cream for helping out my family. Ooh, nice. Ice cream sounds so good. What's this about loading road up? <laughs> we were talking about me being like a load of baked potato or uh, like a potato skin. Did I miss one? Oh, uh, go so around. So you're trying to decide how best to be filled? <laughs> you can say that! say a lot of things, part of the beauty of being me. Damn, that was mean. <laughs> I'll help out in that endeavor. <laughs> There we go. Better. Of course it's in the heart. Right, report back to Sid. Oh, 
Oh boy. Let's see how long it takes for me to be able to finish up at least this expansion. I'm close to close-ish to getting level 48 though, which is nice. You have the readings? Excellent. Here, let me see the numbers. Yes. Four of these crystals should suit our purpose. Though I pray that we won't have need of their power. Why thanks, Kibor. That wasn't enough! Oh fuck you. Acting the part. Go to you. Imperial salute as an email. Okay. Clean the wax out of your ears now, because there's something I want you to do by way of preparation. The plans to have you enter Castrum Country all decked out in the Imperial duds, but if the skies is more than just the clothes you're wearing, enough. Oh, fuck you, you also got active. That's what my exes used to say. Three. Oi! You know I don't. I didn't mean that. <laughs> I didn't mean it that way, believe! At the very least, you need to know how to perform a convincing Imperial salute. First impressions are everything, as they say. I could teach you to uh, teach you to salute myself, of course, but it's best you learned it from the experts. Go so find yourself near as you dare to cast from Kentry, and watch the Imperials do what they do. Oh, you dick. Put me in the line of fire. Where am I? Ah. Uh. I have to just swing past the Nexus. The fact that the creators for Final Fantasy XIV were able to meld high fantasy and sci-fi in such a way like this is so interesting. I love it. Not a good idea for me to just go through like that. Invulnerable. Get back here, you coward! Oh, you went back to heal yourself! <laughs> Take that. Oh. 
Hug the wall. I think I'm supposed to be a top. I probably am. Hug. Actually, no. Ah, here. That was a bit too close. Nothing to report. <laughs> we have received an anonymous warning that insurgent forces are near. We must redouble our vigilance. I shall recommend that patrols be increased. Yay! Now let's go back to Glomant. Just much easier to teleport. So, did you manage to learn the Imperial Salute? No, no, no. Best you don't demonstrate. I'm liable to fly in a rage and crack skulls. I'll just take your word for it. Nice. Oh, so close. The Sark Molark. Oh, Imperial Armor. You're called Gimor Terbalar, yes? I've heard of your plight from my friend Glomant. As a fellow adventurer and son of Eorza myself, I would offer you my assistance. In order to infiltrate Kastrum Kentry, you and your comrades must disguise yourselves as Imperial soldiers. The question is how to go about acquiring the uniforms and helms. There are places a man might purchase them, but individuals who deal in such wares are not the sort to whom you would entrust your secrets. It would be more prudent, I believe, to produce what you need via traditional means from the bodies of their recently deceased owners. The fortified area before Castrum Kentry never lacks for Imperial patrols. It ought not take long to obtain three sets of gear, one for each member of the infiltration team, Biggs, Wedge, and yourself. When you have what you need, return here and allow, and allow me to inspect the spoils. Wow. Uh, let's script an exchange. If you have any white crafter scripts or white gatherer scripts, I should be glad to offer you purple scripts and purple gatherers, respectively. I don't know what neither what either are. All 
All right. Uh, we have to go back, don't we? Ah. Uh. Really hope that everyone is having a good time, by the way. I know I'm kind of prioritizing trying to get through these quests and hopefully finish through <laughs> the remainder of A Realm Reborn before we get to the next expansion. But yeah, if there's anything that y'all want to talk about, anything that you uh, may think I'd be interested in, or if you want reminders on certain events and whatnot that are happening soon, feel free to let me know. And like, I am more than open to talk chill if folks are just okay with your like, fine background music eight. while I make the upper stories of my castle. Ooh, Three. fair. Fair, fair, fair. <laughs> Fuck you! You just love to pull people into your problems, don't you? Time, so I have to walk all the way down back to this fucking base. Fucking mud puppies. They look like salamanders. Two! Road is fine, alright, slash HJ. Fuck off, fuck off, fuck off, fuck off, fuck off! A mortal as well? Fine with failing the fate. Fuck off. I do not care. Actually,
go. But which would be closer? Probably you. Or you. in my time. Pablo Marcus. You want to come down? I'll come play. Oh, oh, shoot. I have both of them on me. Fuck, I went. I should have. Not done the second wind. Mother Fucker. Potion. Get me up the snuff. And you. Ah, uh, nice! I don't remember putting an order in, but thank you. Get to level 48 now. You designed it, lol. You deserve to own something you helped create. Thank you. I... <laughs> Top Hat just gave me a, a half drunk can of soda because he decided he didn't want it. <laughs> But no, I appreciate that, Lexi. <laughs> well, 
Which, speaking of you, Lexi, and speaking of products and whatnot, your thirst cup is very much well loved already. I am currently using it for my soda as we speak. Damaged, as I suspected. That hat has chosen you. You now have a pet soda slash J. <laughs> Damaged, as I had suspected. In the present condition, I fear these uniforms and helms are likely to cause suspicion. Uh, cause suspicion. They must be prepared, if only superficially. Fortunately, the blacksmith Aganol found the diamond forge in Rowena's house as splendors. Should be able to Back. hammer them into shape in I'm no time. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Yee! You got anything new going on, hun? I know mental health stuff has been kind of making it hard for me to, like, consistently be part of our jam, and I kind of feel bad about it. So you're an adventurer, uh, Sargma Larkson, are you? I've been waiting for you. Now let's see what you got for me. Ah, I see, I see. Yes, yeah, so I reckon I can hammer these back in the shape for you. After all, I owe your friend Sargma Lark a favor or two. Took good care of old Aganoff, but uh, back in the days before I fell in with old Rowena, he did. You didn't know he was the son of one of the wealthiest families in the Sultanate? Wouldn't expect someone like that to end up in the life he did. But I suppose he always felt the Ventress life was calling him. But here I go blabbering on when there's work to be done. Just hold your horse bars for a moment or two and the great Aganoff uh, will have your gear looking good as new. And there you have it. Won't do you much good in battle, mind yeah, but from what I hear, that's not your priority anyhow. Do send Sark Malark my regards, will you? You know, I I'm going to say this for, for shits, because I know this is not the intent, but ye in early modern English was actually the plural you. You had uh, you had you as the uh, like formal you, thou as the casual you, and ye as the plural. So I'm just going to say that anytime that anyone call, uh, says ye to us as like an individual PC, they're just implying that we're dissociative, and I'm here for it. <laughs> Yet old English. Right, in fact, the ye there with like ye old whatever, that is actually a corruption of the. People uh, would used to write a thorn letter in a very fancy way, as that represented th, at least the soft th or the voiceless th like we get in the words like Three. However, with uh, with romanticizations of like medieval era and early modern English times, the the term the old and the writing of the old began to be more consistently um, uh, like put into like artistic lenses, and the font. Uh, the, the font version of that, that TH, that thorn letter, began to be seen falsely as a Y. It's similarly on why, um, to my knowledge, why um, another character that has been lost in English, the Yuch, um, obviously, what well, I say obviously, originally was used to represent uh, certain sounds, whether 
that sound as in like look um, but in other cases would have a bit of a y-ish kind of sound um, however it would often be misunderstood as a z and it's actually influence for the cursive z that we use so a perfect example on how this kind of changes certain words because of misinterpretation and misunderstanding on orthography to etymology the name Mackenzie that Z was originally a yoke and originally was more closer pronounced as McKenye but because of misunderstandings and generalizations of assuming that yuk as a Z especially in cursive it began to be written and understood as Mackenzie. Have you had the uniforms and helms repaired? Yes, these will serve beautifully. The great egg and oaf never fails to impress. The quality of these, these repairs would fool even a legatus. Thus equipped, you should not have any trouble blending in amongst imperial forces. Lest you fear the Garleans might detect your foreignness, foreigners in fact form the greater part of the Garlean invasion force in Eorzea. You see, when the Empire subjugates new territory, it assimilates the people of that land into its armed forces. In turn, they con these conscripted forces are sent to subjugate faraway lands. In this way, Garlemald nips rebellion in the bud and expands its territory in one fell swoop, a one fell stroke. With that, my part of the mission is done. I am full glad to have been of assistance to your cause. Huh? Why would I, a, health, a wealthy merchant, wish to help you? I know not where you heard such a tale, but believe me when I say that I am but another humble adventurer. One who desires only to act in the best interests of the realm. Ah, oh, so close to the next level. But hey, Bunny, hope you're doing well. As a forewarning, the zero, you are fine. It's just that with, because I had to recently reset my computer again, the obols are a little flubbed. But come um, next stream that you hop in, you should start seeing proper, um, like proper quantity. Good work getting Road them Imperial Duds. <laughs> Good work getting them Imperial Duds. You'll be pleased to hear I ain't been idle myself. It took me long enough, but I finally hatched a plan to get us a suit of Magitech armor. Now, from what I have seen, Captain from Kentry deploys a, a Reaper for most of its patrols. Trouble is, the patrols themselves are irregular, meaning random routes and random deployments and hardly any of them come anywhere near Revenant's toll. So, hopping the crooks the Imperials out of their shells, I took the liberty of feeding them a bit of the old false intelligence. Told them insurgents had designs on, the, on their stronghold. Taint far from the truth, now I come to think about it. Eddie Road, we must no, we should stay see uh, okay. we should start seeing I more just patrols. Came back from final so then we three have up results. tonight. Oh, wait, are they seriously having their last Splatfest for Splatoon 3? Didn't Splatoon 3 come out like 2022? It's only been two years. How is how is this going to be their final Splatfest? What do you need to, re to approach one of the patrols dressed up? What you need to do is approach one of the patrols dressed in your shiny tin suit and alert them to the enemy's presence. Yep. Wow, that's kind of sad. Having done that, you'll want to lure him as near to Revenant's Toll as you can. Like as not, though, they'll be wary of entering far from their own walls. If they do need a bit of extra encouragement, use the smoke signal here. The uh, filched fetched, uh, filched fresh from an Imperial Scout. They'll come running when they see that. And when the cavalry arrives, you hit a mard and, and make off with their reaper. Simple as that. If I'm not mistaken, there's a patrol sweeping on the perimeter right now, so run along then, eh? Oh, and don't forget to salute. Hey. 
Okay. Come on. I was just in my inventory army chest. Quit. Ah. It was past, present, and future. Each had the idol group from each game. Oh. Huh. Really? Just the coat and the... Oh, wh why are these so poor in defense? I'm assuming that those will just be helpful in, uh, for... Oh, no, I think this is just generally... Yeah, okay. All right. Time to go, I guess. Future got no points at all from any of the categories. Wow. Toby, is the use of Centurion here accurate to less than one Centurion originally? Whoa! Oh, fuck you! The vote and Shell were less than a 1% different. Wow! Oh, fuck you. You're coming back for me after you healed, you son of a bitch! I thought a centurion was a commander of a century, a unit of 100 soldiers. Or maybe I got that wrong. I believe that is the case. I just also don't know if there's actually a hundred NPCs or soldiers available. And why does this fucker keep healing? I'm gonna pretend to know what's going on and smile and wave. <laughs> smile and wave, boys! Fuck you! Fourth time you fucking healed yourself, you son of a bitch! Come here, and I'm gonna turn you into fucking food! Because I'm hungry! Again! And you're making me fucking angry! Come here, bitch! Finally! Maybe it's because it's too far from its spawn point? Maybe, if that's the case, that is extremely annoying.
Oh, fuck you! Fucking bug eyed ass salamander! At least you listened. What do I do? My... Stand? No. No, 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 no. Where are my... Where are my emotes? Where are my emotes? Hey, what's going on? <laughs> Angel! Hope you're doing well. I am hopefully close to finishing up A Realm Reborn. I am currently having to give a salute to the uh, Centurion. Shout out a lot. Oh, you were doing Lollipop Massacre! Or, well, Lollipop Chainsaw. Lollipop Massacre. Lollipop Chainsaw! Bring! You've been enjoying 14. Yes! I am trying to see if I can get to the rest of A Realm, Befo a Realm Reborn before my subscription ends. Just because money is going to be tight again coming up. You can make it. Yee! Well, I'm also going to be having... Which actually just reminds me. Um, for those that do not know, I will be having an affiliate anniversary coming up on the 22nd. Uh, we're going to be doing a lot of stuff, uh, namely with a giveaway and an optional donathon. Um, I'm not expecting anyone to donate for the donathon, but it is very much appreciated nonetheless. Um, Simply put, um, TLDR of like this bit, corporate greed is a bitch and I want to try and be sure that I have some money to make sure that Top Hat and I are safe um, during the winter because my hours might or might not be cut and everything is up in the air because corporate wants to keep whining about budget. Um, and because of that, 
There are a few things that we have planned, not only a giveaway, which every $10 is an entry for the giveaway for up to 250 bucks in value of art from me, but if you uh, donate uh, the, any amount from these increments from $1, $5, $10, $25, $50, $100, and 125 plus, you can get some extra little goodies from me as well. We have a few uh, milestones and a few tiers for milestones prepared with some that I hope may entice you, namely um, new arc hints as well as stuff that Top Hat and I would love to be able to would love to be able to do coming up. So if any of that is of interest uh, to you, feel free to keep eye. Um, I will be either posting. Fuck you! Oh, oh. Fuck you both! I want to fail on something! And you already respawned! You already respawned, you pieces of shit! You tryhards! Anyway, if y'all want to keep track on the Donathon and the Salamanders and potentially uh, donate or anything like that, feel free to keep eye, especially on my Kofi. I will have an update and a uh, post for the uh, Donathon proper sometime soon, if not tonight, then drop the Thursday at the very latest. There we go. Carry on, soldier. Oh. Insurgents gathering to the east, you say? Judging by your description, they're well beyond the perimeter. But I will not have it said that I was remiss. You, return to the scene and keep an eye on those insurgents. Should I go awry, use your smoke signal to call us. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you! Fucking run to the rules. I did not have the strength to have my voice go that go that strong right now. Ah. Cause I had to talk a lot today, I had to talk over a loud ass radio and a loud ass machine. God, the music in some of these areas is gorgeous. Is it? Oh, it's in the heart. And this dude's right in front of the entryway for me to get to the heart. Okay, maybe not. I have to go that way. There we go. Smoke signal. Oh, level cap is 50. All right, if you're above the maximum allowed level, it'll be synced as follows. Okay. So here's hoping that I won't need to level up a little bit. 
Let's see. I hope you don't mind me joining. Seeing as we're seizing advanced weaponry, I thought it'd be best to be on hand. Ah, there she is. Oh wait, I forgot to switch my armor! Fuck! This is the place. But where is the enemy? Sir! Over there! Send in the Reaper! Let us make an example of these insurgents. The armor has gone into overdrive. With all your life, stay out of its sight. Of course. Alright, failed. Okay. So let's actually... Fix my armor. Equip that. Equip. Alright, that's at least my base armor. Now can I lower the difficulty? Yeah, we'll keep it very easy for now. I just wanna I wanna finish this up so bad. <laughs> my ass Well 
Come on. Woo. Okay. That was a lot better. <laughs> At last! Our very own suit of Magitek armor. Huh. I wish you to look a gift chocobo uh, to look a gift chocobo in the beak. Does seem rather the worse for wear, doesn't it? Biggs, Wedge, what's your honest assessment? Uh it's fucked. Well, there's the fact that she's smoking, of course. But looking past that, I'd say she was structurally sound. I don't like the way these legs are buckled. I hate to say this, but the servo mechanism may be damaged. Huh? But aren't those things protected by by ilm thick armor plate? They are, yes. It's all Casey okay, doesn't seem to have taken a blow. I suspect we're dealing with a faulty part. Well. Whatever it is we're dealing with, we're not rusting until it's fixed. Now one wink, not one wink asleep. You got that, Wedge? Oh, a fucking stupid ass cart juggable. I heard that. A hail, a hall's been set aside for our use in reference toll. That's where we'll carry out the repairs. Come look for a Sergimar. Nice. Nice, nice. Oh, I'm so close. I am so, so close. Oh, huh, insane. Sorry, my OBS is saying that I lost frames and I'm like, where? Where is said? This is where I was told to go. Report to Sid. Oh. OBS eating yummy frames. Apparently, it was only 1400. It's 0.1% of my current frames. Magitek armor? Sid and the others took it inside. Go on in and join them. Let's go. We've now had time to take a closer look at the Reaper. Our preliminary diagnosis was correct. She's structurally sound, but her servo mechanism is faulty. You needn't worry. Biggs and Wedge will see her restored to her former glory in no time at all. Give those two something to mend, and they'll think of naught else till the job's done. It is a marvelous thing to behold, provided you remind them to visit the pretty. Yes! The repairs are, prece are, are proceeding to pace. It shouldn't be long now before Biggs and Wedge complete their work. There is, however, one small problem. As you may recall, the Machina servo mechanism was discovered to be faulty. Wedge has subsequently ascertained that the Magitek core which drives it is worn beyond use. Such cores are rather fragile devices which must be replaced at regular intervals. Thanks to the negligence of our Imperial colleagues, however, the one use in this Reaper was long overdue. Sounds like, uh, <laughs> sounds like they can learn a thing or two from the uh, lack of maintenance from Boeing. 
Alas, we do not have access to our ready replacement here at Mordona. But all is not lost. Wedge thinks he may have identified an alternative solution. Go and see him, would you? He'll explain the details to you. Alright. As I believe the Chief has already informed you, the Magitech Core is worn beyond Man, years. Man, ARR is so stuff weird still after everything. Yeah. <laughs> As I believe the Chief is over... I I'm, I'm curious, Angel, do you know if I'm actually close to finishing this? Because I really want to finish ARR so bad. As I believe the Chief has already informed you, the Magitech Core is worn beyond use. We need to find a replacement. I thought about having your appropriate that I would I thought about having you appropriate more rapers. But even if the Dunderhead maintenance engineers at Castrum Kentry had remembered to replace their cores, we would risk arousing Imperial suspicion. But do not despair, for I believe there is a solution. To substitute the Magitech core with a mammoth heart. In case you didn't know, a mammoth heart can be used to create sentience to an automaton. By my reckoning, such a device should be able to then uh, to that should be more than capable of regulating the armor servo mechanism. We'll just need to make some minor modifications to the holding unit. I've already placed an order for our first rate mammoth heart with the Goldsmith's Guild. All that remains is for someone to go to Ulda and collect it. Oh, and to pay for it. <laughs> Did I mention how much they cost? No? Well, they typically cost something in the order of... Um, I, I hope you don't mind putting the bill. It's for a good cause. You're lucky I'm in a guild. Speak with serendipity. I believe the rest of the quests now until the final bits are story and keep moving through the zones. Okay. Now my biggest concern is if I'm gonna be able to get through the rest of this in an hour and fifteen. You have like another two-ish hours. Two hours? Oh! <laughs> Damn. Actually, actually, this might be the way for me to go. Road gonna blind spin run. <laughs> I'll try. Doesn't mean I'll succeed. Is this the way that I need to go in order to be able to get there, or...? Yes, it is. Aha! A sibled... What can you do? Sibold has but little time left and would confide to you in his burdens. What tech do you have here? Ah, decline well, for you now. know the game is text heavy and the actual dungeon and trials can take a lot of time. True. Also. Also, why not what? use the etherites? I keep forgetting about the etherites. Because it's also been a really, really long while since I last played. <laughs> so I don't remember where everything is. And also won't let me use my chocobo. The blue shares. Yeah, I, I I know like the blue shards that are on the map is. I keep forgetting how to use them and implement them. My brain, for whatever reason, just loves to make every opportunity possible to make these more complicated for myself. Hello 
there! Come to collect a mammoth heart, you say? Then you must be uh, here on behalf of, of Garland Ironworks. I've taken the liberty of picking the finest examples we have. A fit heart for a prince among mammoths. You right click them and they are like fast travels through the cities. Okay. Oh, that won't be necessary. The heart is from Master Alf. It's an Alphanod's personal use, after all. And yeah, no chocobos in cities. After all, let's see, he notified us a short while ago that his manservant would be coming to collect his tender in here, so he may be. Master Alphanod has been a benefactor of, of ours since my predecessor's time. Goldsmith's Guild wouldn't dream of charging him. But here is the Mammoth Heart. May it serve you well. Um, please do pass on my compliments to your master. Ah. Alright, now I can just do this. Till just boom. Yeah, Angel, there's so many aspects of my brain and trying to do stuff that I that even I still struggle to understand for myself. Wanna go in? It hardly needs saying, but try not to be seen. Do you have the mammoth heart? I can't wait to see if it works. Brain go B R R R. Brain very much go burr. Hurrah! Thank you so much! <gasps> but this. This is magnificent! It must have cost an emperor's ransom! Free of charge? Courtesy Nathanon! Coming from an influential family certainly has its advantages! But without further ado, let's give it a try. I've already modified the housing unit, so it should slot right in. There, she is ready. Magitech armor, engage. Or not. <laughs> She just needs a living tap, I'll wager. Oh, what do you know? Yes, she's, she's alive. Let's take her outside and put her through her paces. Gimor, would you care to do the honors? Nice. Oh, we were just time skipped. <laughs> Let me actually do a scene real quick, because my brain is going burr again in a different way.
Alrighty. I decided to set up the goal on Kofi now. So if people are wanting information on that, feel free. And apparently Kofi sends that twice and I apparently don't even need to have it in my mix it up. So if you guys want to do any early bird donations related to uh, the donathon that's going to be related to the affiliate anniversary, you are more than open to do so. Any early donations will be honored when it comes to the incentives. If you need any reminders on the incentives, feel free to let me know and I will show that on screen. Here we go. All right. Now to talk to Wedge. Hop into the pilot seat. We'll begin as soon as you're ready. First, I'd like you to try climbing that tangle of crystals yonder as far up as you can go, if you please. Oh, and if for some reason you need to dismount, simply come back here and we'll start again. No anomalous movements evident from from either leg. Good. Next, jump back down and sprint north. I guess you can't. I. What button do I press to sprint? As a first person view. I, I legit have no idea what button it is to sprint. Final Fantasy 14 Sprint. I need to set it as a keybind? Where is my keybind? Where's Sprint? Steer, move, strafe. Was it the toggle? No, I still... Let's try that again. Hop back in. I don't know what button it is to sprint. You haven't told me. That's the first person view. Yeah. 
Yeah, because... And I didn't even see a sprint command in the keybinds. in general skills and traits. Play? Sounds like maybe on... Sorry, I'm trying to look things up. L2 and triangle? Well, let's try that combo. Oh wait, try the mount guide I saw on the menu. Where is the mount guide? There's the mount guide. Nope. The only thing that's showing me is the company Chocobo. Character configuration. Then this is ten years old. It's gonna be changed by this point. For most likely. Where's character configuration? Character configuration, pop our settings. That does nothing for me. Because then you go, oh, drop sprint into the new hotbar. That doesn't help me. So I need to find where sprint as an action is. Actions and traits. Let's look through here, I guess. No. No, I'm not seeing any is a default action but where do I actually find it
Nope. Okay. That's not working. No, and P is becoming... Oh, this is so aggravating. Actions and traits. These are actions used in combat. Traits, no. Orders, withdraw, no. Why are you now only le only letting me do certain things? Okay. Oh, we need to have that ready. Glamour plate. Create a set of multiple glamours to apply at once. I might keep those as is for now. Okay. Can not execute this? Are you making me have to dismount first? How about you explain yourself and your bullshit? I command the dismount. Fucking hell. Actions and traits. did my no get me out this is ridiculous oh I think it just wants you to move to different net parts of the small area well thing is specifically they said sprint back as far as you can, as fast as you can. I'm gonna look up this stupid quest. Every little thing she does is match attack. Just move to the red spot on the map. I thought... Yeah, I tried to move to the red spot. That's where they are at. But... Okay, maybe it wasn't. Ugh. Back to wedge. Sorry, my brain was like, oh, now sprint back as quickly as you can, that they wanted me to go back to them. Now, where the hell are they? I'm gonna 
if I could stop being pulled by frogs, maybe. Torso remains stable during vigorous motion. Excellent. And that concludes our test. Thank you for your cooperation. You could have been more transparent with your wording, Wedge. Fuck you. Here's the summary of my findings. The drivetrain is in sound condition. With some fine-tuning, we can expect some noticeable improvement in performance. As for the servo mechanism, I'm afraid it's not nearly as responsive as it, as it should be, and I'm at a loss to explain why. The man at heart is in pristine condition and should be installed correctly. Perhaps its inner workings are simply too different to operate harmoniously with the armor's other mechanisms? Whereas Magitech cores serve only to conduct impulses, Mammoth Hearts enable Automata to, prom to process the information collected by their sensors as feel <gasps> feelings. Maybe she just doesn't feel like part of the team. In which case, we should all do our best to make her feel welcome. All right. An emo. Hi, you want a hug? Just everyone coming in. Let, let's give the giant automaton a, a big a, a group hug. <laughs> Level cap 50. All right. Daft as it felt, I gave it my best. I welcomed myself to a bloody standstill. What were you expecting to do anyway? Bob us a curtsy. No doubt you're wondering why the servo mechanism is so important as to warrant its silliness. Without it, the pilot would be required to control the armor's every movement manually. This would be, a, be an, an onerous task at best of times, and wholly impractical during battle. Using a mammoth heart in place of a worn Magitech core seemed a promising solution. Alas, the device does not appear to be compatible with, Gal uh, with Garlean technology. My brain is not wanting to work. Wedge, are there no other ways we might demonstrate our appreciation to our friend here? I'm at my wit's end, Chief. She just doesn't seem convinced. We could try a little dance, perhaps, or cheer our heads off. Imperials, they've come for the armor. Damn it, they have it cornered. There's the Reaper! Taken by the Traitor Garland! And is that the Acon Slayer? Oh, bollocks! Call for reinforcements! The hells you will! Let's go. We've located the stolen oh, Reaper. Yes. Requesting Three. immediate assistance. Respond. Respond. It's no use, sir. There's some sort of interference. Curse you, Garland. No matter. If we can't reclaim it, destroy it. Bloody hells. Protect the armor at all costs. I'll do my best, and then probably die and have to bring it back down to an easy level.
Sid, help me, damn it! was almost down. Fuck, 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 fuck. Oh, just barely. All right. kicking in. Let's go. Chief, look! She moved! Ah, now she designs to grace us with her presence. Or Danes. I've never seen... Never seen that word before. It took us a good while. We we're finally ready. It's time to infiltrate Castrum Kentry and rescue our comrades. There, the finishing touch. Nice. Little rickety. I have returned. Welcome RL back. Got a little crazy. Oh, is it all good, Notaic? I don't think that we're gonna be able to finish this completely, but we are so fucking close. So, so, so fucking close. Servo mechanism is now fully functional, and all it took was a simple fight to the death. Remind me not to install a mammoth heart aboard the Enterprise, would you? Much as I love her, I would rather not be required to profess it before boarding. But enough of that, let's see to our final preparations. Next to Bakes and Wedge, the Reaper is as good as new. We're as prepared as we've little as, as we'd like to get. Permission to add you? Yeah, by all means. How go your preparations? You leave as soon as you're ready. Blomit, you came. I thought I'd give you a uh, give you all a roar and send off. It's the best I can do for the fine men and women <laughs> what are about to make my lifelong wish come true. Well, we'll do our best. Though well, it occurs to me for all the help you've afforded us, we know little and less about you. What did the Empire do to earn your ire? Uh, but I fear I've put curiosity before consideration. I'm pretty I much ready. Nice. I quite understand if you'd rather not relieve those, no, relive those memories. No, no, I don't mind. Just be told a part of me was itching to tell you, to tell you my tale. Mind you, it's just hardly novel. I ain't the first to suffer in Imperial hands. Like most folk, I used to have a mother. She was sweet, caring woman, with a smile never far from her face. There was a sister too, pretty little thing. She was. Gentle as a lamb, the toughest nails. We were poor folk living simple lives, but we knew happiness just the same. And then the Imperials came and took it all away. When Alavinga, when Alavinga fell, they put my family in a camp. 
Being a lad, I was made to do hard labor, and while my mother and sister were forced to do far worse. They hid their suffering from me as best they could, but I knew. And the thought of it drove me mad. We had an escape. And so I hatched a plan to get us out of the city. We were picking our way around a gorge not far from not far outside the walls, and they caught up to us. And rather than allow themselves to be taken again, my mother and sister leaped over the edge before my very eyes. Heartbroken as I was, I didn't put up a fight when the Imperials clapped, they clapped me in chains and dragged me back. So some years after that, I escaped again in the same, and that time I got away. I swore then that I'd get revenge on the Empire and became an adventurer so as to hone my skills and earn the coin I needed. But I, on two decades, have since gone by, and what have I achieved? A girl, that's that. More like you lot. You ain't been here ten minutes, and you've already done more than I managed in ten bloody years. You give us too much credit, Goldman. We seek only to rescue our friends. Well, what's more, what's more important than that? And then he wrote, after you've got your friends back, you're planning on going after the Empire. And don't pretend you ain't. I've helped a few folk take on the Imperials over the years, and every time I have, it's helped, it's helped stave off my appetite for revenge. But some, but some it tells me I won't be going hungry for a while with what everything you've got planned. And you're sure that will satisfy you? If you wish to strike back at the Empire with your own hands, you need only say the word. We would be glad to have you with us. <laughs> Tempting though your offer is, I'm afraid I must decline. I swore I'd get revenge on the Empire, it is true. But I've long since realized that the front lines are no place for a man like me. Aye. There are some that would call me Craven, but I prefer to think of myself as a realist. My talents lie in scamming, you see, not swordplay. Helping folk like you is how I can make the most difference. Well, that's quite enough storytelling for one day. Best not keep your friends waiting any longer. I'll be praying for your safety and success. May Rogar give you strength. Wherever the Empire goes, misery invariably follows in its wake. For the sake of all who call Eorzea home, we must put an end to Gaius's ambitions. But first, we have friends to rescue. Biggs, Wedge, I will lie in wait east of Castrum Country, just outside of Stronghold's patrol perimeter. Join us when you're- oh! Alex! Alexander Page, thank you so much for the raid. For those that are in my community and don't know who this lovely deer is, say hello to the creator of Jean and Clark, one of the most popular supernatural uh, supernatural comedy webcomics that also features a gay couple on webtoons. Highly recommend that y'all check out Alex's stuff. Let me get a raid, shout out. Raid. There we go. You were doing some art. Nice. Let's go. For those that are hopping in and don't know what we do around here, this is the Road to Dusk. Also, whoever had just followed, thank you so much. I'll get to you in just a quick second. You can call me Road Dusk, anything that you would call a friend. I'm a dream usher, focusing on sleep, dreams, and the imagination to help create an environment where people can learn to be better versions of themselves. I am this close to finishing up uh, a Rome Reborn, at least. I am psyched, but I don't want to push myself past midnight just because I'm trying to put myself on a decent sleep schedule now. But I do have uh, some Fair. some updates uh, for, for you guys. For anyone that is hopping in next week on September 22nd, I will be having a 24-hour affiliate anniversary live stream uh headed off by my fiance and nesting partner top hats as he does a speedrun attempt because i will be at work but 
we have a whole bunch of stuff planned, including a giveaway for up to $250 in value of art from yours truly, and an optional donathon because work is being shit again. But when it comes to like the incentives and how much it takes to like be part of the giveaway, um, it is 10 bucks per entry, obviously stackable. Um, when you send any kind of incentive, $10, $25, or $50, um, you get free art from me. $100 uh, means that you will have access to a free video edit from my nesting partner, Top Hat. Um, and anything $125 or above, you as an individual get to choose a future stream. But as of note, these have to be individual incentives. These are not cumulative. I may, uh, I, I may skew things a little bit to allow cumulative if need be, if people really want that. But ideally, this is meant to be individual, not cumulative. But a fun thing is that with some of the milestones that we have planned, while the base goal is $250 to help out with the Donathon, um, we have plenty of tiers available with several um, little a little bit of crumbs for you guys, hopefully to help you guys feel justifiably rewarded for your support. We have plenty of ideas from Top Hat and I playing the the inscription card game. When do we get our own copy come sometime in March or April of next year to retro streams uh, with like PlayStation 1 and PlayStation 2, GameCube, Game Boy Advance, PSP and Wii. Um, an 8th hour Final Fantasy stream, and hints for a new arc. So if any of that is of interest to you guys, I just allowed people to do early bird donations. If you so choose, feel free to check out that Kofi link for a few more details. Again, uh, just for full transparency, any early bird donations will be honored. Like, completely. I I always tend to do this kind of early bird kind of thing, and I always do my best to like honor everyone that is donated regardless of time. If you guys want to Thank be you. if you guys want to be a part of the action, be more active in the community, get some updates on when we do things, I highly recommend that you become part of my Discord in collaboration with my partner system, the Dixier Clan, aka Nebulas Noxis. Like my streams, the community is 18 plus. We are LGBTQI2 Spirit Plus, neurodivergent, disability, and mental health forward. We also do our best to uplift and advocate for BIPOC voices regarding their own experiences. Uh, do not let any hop in. You have 15 minutes to verify that you have read the rules. Otherwise, you will be temporarily booted by one yes. of the bots meant you to curb against hate raids and trolls. I am not a trans parent, I am a trans uncle. I do not want my own children, at least not now. I am not financially stable enough for that. <laughs> and if I'm gonna have a kid, I do not have the parts to bear my own child anymore. I am going to adopt. <laughs> <laughs> if you also want updates uh, from me with any of my socials, or even want to know more about those in my system because I am dissociative, or another word being plural, Feel free to check out my card with some insights on myself, others in my system, as well as several links to our socials, including two YouTube channels, one being a VOD channel, the other being a channel dedicated to more personal like video essay content. If any of that is of interest to you, please feel free to stick around. I would very much appreciate the company. Sorry for that whole tangent. <laughs> All right, so, you know, I will skip the cutscene because I went on long enough. Had to refresh, was lagged. Oh no! I need to be in the Imperial uniform again. So, okay. Armory chest. Probably happened while I was finishing my homework. Darn. <laughs> uh, there to do. Speak with Sid. All disguise. Oh. Do do do. 
There we go. I'm assuming this is you. That'd be me. Okay. Thank you. Just want to double check. Gonna be checking on stuffs. Aye. All right. Let me figure out where I need to be. Cause this is. Oh, I had to come from Northern Sanolin. Okay. We'll do. We'll go to the processing plant. Okay, okay. How is being someone's final fantasy? Wait, what? I, I, I'm not sure what you're meeting with. Are you trying to flirt with me with that? Because my that just flew over my head partly. Because I would rather not people go death by snoo snoo from me, let alone me go death by snoo snoo from someone else. I want I want to fuck and be fucked and live to tell the tale. <laughs> Snoo Snoo. Snoo Snoo is good, but not death by Snoo Snoo. Best way to DED though. No. <laughs> That, that just makes me think of uh, the flippin' 1,000 Ways to Die uh, flippin' show from, like, Spike TV. There was this one dude that literally died from... Hello, don't mind me, just infiltrating. I am being a dumbass. TV for all you toxic masculinity needs. The only th I will say the only thing that I ever watched was a thousand ways to die. I watched nothing else on Spike TV. I was just intrigued by the death. And quite honestly, ah, I am a dumbass. No ninja warrior, bro. No, I did not do American Ninja Warrior. I don't really get shows like that. The worst... The, okay, scratch that. I did watch Wipeout. Which is... With, with the shenanigans like that. But that got old very quickly. Because of just how much they tried to shoo in. <laughs> it's funny, look at them getting hurt. It's like, if I really wanted to relish in the shot in Fortnite, I would have kept watching AFB. warrior for those with skill issues but were you about to talk about the guy who died cause the woman he was doing had a heart attack and died on him and he couldn't lift her off yes that was exactly who i was going to talk about toby exactly same brain cell thank you also no take i am so sorry <laughs> I am like a lost puppy. I am going to be intrigued by everything and anything, as well as my prime directive, and I am just going to go 
I, I am going to go ham. And because because I want to do the thing. <laughs> Also, nice character. Um, the color scheme reminds me of from Shaman Kane, Ren's sister, because her hair oh, and her whole aesthetic is green. Too. Whole chat about the Prime Directive. Thank you. Do what thing? I'm trying to remember to figure out where I'm supposed to. Oh, I do have to be inside. Okay. Oh, wait. Are you kidding? I could have gone the opposite direction. <laughs> Cause with the Prime Directive. I thought Star Trek. No, I, I mean Prime Directive as in like my brain going, Oh, I want to do a thing. I will not stop until I do it. This is my purpose until it is complete and I have another. Okay, yeah. I have to go the other way. <laughs> Meet me at Revenant School. Yeah, meet me at Revenant's Toll. Because I am dumb. Okay. I'm away. Also, let me check to see who had followed earlier from the raid. Randomly Kato, thank you. Thank you, seriously. <laughs> I'm gonna wait for Notaic. <laughs> he pulled it in the car. What? What is this? Fucking get in, loser. We're we're infiltrating. We're going infiltrating. XD. Let me in the car. How do I get in the car? Ride pylon. There we go. Mount seat two. <laughs> Prompted you as party leader. Okay. Whee! I forgot this fucker can fly. So where are we going? Uh, we need to head... To, okay, if you look on the map for Morthona and look a little southwest from uh, from Revenant's Toll, it's going to be a spot that's the Tangle. Just a little bit above that. Uh, let me actually send a screenshot. There you go. All right, and here. Uh, okay, dismount. Okay. Buddy. All right. Now where is Sid? Because it says I need to talk to Sid. Oh, he's on the other side. Gotta go around a little bit. There we 
he is. Alrighty. Thank you for your help, by the way, Natake. Forgive me for saying so, but you cut quite a dashing figure in Imperial Black and Crimson. Ah, I... then now is not the time for jests. <laughs> I look so embarrassed! Let's review the infiltration plan. Castrum Country lies just beyond. A short while ago, an Imperial Patrol left to do its rounds. But Alphanod and I will create a diversion out there and keep them occupied for as long as we are able. Meanwhile, the three of you will enter the stronghold, posing as the patrol, uh, posing as the patrol returning from duty. Should Alphanod and I prove less distracting than hoped, I'll contact you via Link Pearl. Be ready to beat a the, be ready to beat a hasty retreat. The music, music is coming to hang music. with you. Holy moly, music thank you so much for the raid. This is three you. raids tonight. Hello, friendo. Hello, it's been a hot minute. How you been doing, music? And Della, how you been doing, hun? Let me get a shout out. For those that are hopping in from... I'm doing all right. Nice. I know recently that you guys were dealing with some chaos. I hope that everything's been doing okay. You are doing Valorant, hell yeah. I keep hearing good things on Valorant. <laughs> I've just not been quite one for like Battle Royale stuff. I'm glad you're having fun with it though, genuinely. For those that are hopping in from music stuff and don't know what we do around here, this is the Road to Dusk. You can call me Road, Dusk, anything that you would call a friend. I'm a dream mushroom focusing on sleep, dreams, and the imagination to help create an environment where people can learn to be the better versions of themselves. Uh, well, I am currently doing some Final Fantasy XIV, hopefully, like trying to get as far as I can with trying to complete A Realm Reborn, the base game in this, uh, before my subscription <laughs> ends. Uh, that said, um, I do have quite a bit of news and updates regarding stuff that I have planned, especially my affiliate anniversary come next week. If you want to be in on info related to that, feel free to check out my card, which includes uh, info on not just me, but others of my system that like to front a lot and stream, as well as our platforms with two YouTube channels, one being our VOD channel, the other being a, a channel dedicated to video essays and the like. If you want to become part of the community in any way, you can either join, you can either use our socials or you can check out the Discord. Do you know that like uh, our streams, the community is 18 plus. We are LGBTQI2 Spirit Plus, there is a virtual disability and mental health forward. We also do our best to uplift and advocate for BIPOC voices regarding their own experiences. Um, do you know that when you hop in, you have 15 minutes to know that to verify that you have read the rules. Otherwise, you will be temporarily booted by one of the bots from the curve against hate raids and trolls. Real quick, I will say super quick, we have an affiliate anniversary on the 22nd with an optional donathon that we have going on just because work is being iffy again. But we have plenty of stuff going on uh, to coincide with that. Any $10 donation and $10 increments henceforth will be considered an entry for a giveaway for up to $250 in value of art from me. Which, for example, the majority of what you see here, save for the little dragon above my head and my model by itself, is made by me. Um, also, if you donate 10, 25, 50 bucks, you get uh, the option to get free art from me. And a hundred dollars, you get a free video edit from my nesting partner, Top Hat. And we have plenty of other stuff going on, including uh, some tiers in relation to some potential milestones related to the optional donathon, with some of them including special hints for a new arc that we have planned for next year. If any of that is of interest to you, please feel free to stick around. I would very much appreciate the company. That said, uh, music, what are you open up to lately? Anything that you want to talk about? Because it's been, it's been a hot minute. <laughs> All right, form an Imperial salute. How about... Ah, there's one. Ah, that's a 
fine salute. Part of the maintenance crew from Al from Alcadens, are you? Welcome to the Castrum Kentry engineer. What? Prisoners? Ah, you've heard the rumors then. Yes, they're being held in the storage tower, but I strongly suggest you pay them no mind. You are summoned here to work, not to gawp at Eorzea's defeated heroes. Now show a bit of enthusiasm, or I'll have you report it. I'm not seeing the two other people for me to salute to. Oh, there you are. Imperial Courtier. The Courier. Oh, my apologies. I didn't notice you there, so engrossed was I in my task. You'd be engrossed too had the had the tribunus commanded you to arrange for the prisoners to be transported. What prisoners do I speak of? You mean you haven't heard? Only the infamous scions of the seventh dawn, captured by the tribunus herself. If you don't believe me, have a look at the storage tower when next you pass that way. You're not looking too good, pal. Greetings, comrade. Forgive me for my asking, but you haven't visited the sword tower recently, have you? I only ask because I dropped something in the air in the... Oh, who am I fooling? I've fallen for one of the prisoners, all right? I dare say you know the one I mean. Uh, the svelte blonde? Goodness, no. <laughs> it's a lot. It's a lot of and lass I'm smitten with. She's so adorable, it hurts. Oh, good aggression. <laughs> I want to sweep her up into my arms and squeeze her till my arms ache. What do you reckon it would take to convince the centurion to lend me the key so I can see her? What's this? You need access to the storage tower. What business have you there? At the tribe at the tribunus's behest, you say. This is highly irregular, but it would not do to make my lady wroth. Take my identification key. My uh, my identification key. If I can talk, see that it's returned when your errand is concluded. Okie dokie. Security's tight, just as we we expected. We're going to need a special key if we want to get past this bulkhead. Let's fuck shit up. Come on. Perfect. Examine the steel door. Oh, we're going ham on this. I would not be surprised if we end up like Unable to commence duty as a dis- what? Oh, shoot, I have- I can't be in a party while doing this. We have to this. disband. Okay. How do I disband the party? We dissolve the party. Thank you, no take! <laughs> IXD. <laughs> I 
No! Infilia. And the rest. Thank goodness they're safe. I'm the one you want. Leave the others be. If you harm my friends, I swear I shall take my own life and you shall answer to your mistress. Tataru, we must do something. We risk letting the entire uh, cast room know we're here. Hi, you're right. We may not get a better chance. This is the third squadron. What is it? A Reaper. Seized when? And this came to light only now. Culprits will have left a trail. Take as many men as you need and scour the area. I want that Reaper found. Now's our chance. <laughs> this is fucking slack jawed. What the? Strike my last. Eliminate the intruders. Let's go! How about we not attack our friends? I'm buying this! Ah. Damn you! Why is this taking so long? Fuck. Damn. Okay, I'm gonna have to bring down the difficulty. <laughs> Because I was getting reckless. Proceed. We have less than 10 minutes. Skip the cutscene.
that divot. Rev speed run. Yep. I am just this close. This this close. Anymore. I was so scared. It was foolish of you to come here. You might have been killed. But thank you. I share to the thing what might have happened had you not arrived when you did. I say, did you not see Thancred anywhere? I'm beginning to fear for the fellow. To linger here should yield us no answer. Let us away. Air the window to our liberty and close it shut. What did he say? Escaped. Then recapture them. Fail, and I shall have your head. And what have we here? The Tribunus herself, just as you said. You have the eye of an Araman, Ida. Well, she's kind of hard to miss in that showy armor of hers. Accursed scions! How did you slip our defenses? With unexpected ease, if truth be told. There chanced to be a commotion outside of the castrum's walls, which allowed us to avail ourselves of the comforts of your vehicle. Shulta's just being polite. That was one of the most uncomfortable things I've ever stored away in. It's no wonder it's called a phantom train. No passenger would be seen dead in it. So you scuttled in amidst the freight, like the vermin you are. I shall be sure to have words with our ratcheter. Such negligence is unforgivable. This is far from your own, uh, from your most pressing concern. First, you must answer for your own wrongdoing. Livia sends Unius. Twas you who led the raid of the Waking Sands. You who butchered unarmed men and women for the crime of being unworthy of capture. You killed our friends. We will never forgive you. Nor shall we suffer you the plague Eorzea a day longer. But you too plague Eorzea a day longer. Betake you to your guard. More intruders! Protect the Tribunus! Confound it! Ida! With me! Nice! That was so badass! After them! Where is His Excellency? In the hangar, my lady, my lady, in discussion with our guest. Alert him at once. Yes, my lady. No, 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 no! There they are! Fan out and surround them! Oh, poor baby! Must protect. Tataru! Thanks! I'm going in! See everyone in safety! No, witch! Don't do it! Damn it. Oh no. Get more! Hold him off! I'll look after Mimphilia and Tataru. This will probably be the end of it for the night. 
So if you guys have anyone that you want us to raid out to, and you have the place to do so, feel free to forgive me, guys. Go raid command. And I will see to it. I probably didn't need the second win for Bucket. Oh, my. talking this one? Which steel door are we having to talk about here? So I tried to go to this one and it didn't open up. Target out of range. Generator. Is this thing? It's not taking damage at all. Beat the enemy. Okay, we have to do something with this mech. No, take. Do you remember how to take this mech down? Hit? How is the fighting a goddamn mech with an arrow? Yeah. Okay, Della, I'll go for a hit, please, and thank you. <laughs> eye for an eye. this way. No? That's blocked. So I found multiple things. I found that door, and that didn't give me a way to go through. I found another door, which didn't give me a way to go you through. You have seen it, acknowledged it, and left it alone. I still need help. Oh, what the? Oh! Hi! How did they... Oh wait, was it the generator that was making them invulnerable? 
No, because they're still involved. What the hell? Those shield gens are what's getting him the involved. Shield gen the shield generators. Okay, I need to find another generator. Ow! That was the only one that I saw. Ah! a flipping map. Nope, that's an enemy. Yeah, and you're still invulnerable. So where... save up money to get through Shadowbringer and Endwalker like just immediately so I can work on Dawn Trail or not. It's past midnight, but fuck it. <laughs> Let's get through the full of this cutscene and the, like this dialogue and finish up this quest before we end it. At least you did one more. Yeah. We're so close to the end. So close to the end. Take the leader! Kill the rest! Oh, at least this section is voiced. What the? The Astola! 
Yashtola. Okay, that's how you pronounce her name. Pray, forgive us our delay. Papalina, Minfilia, Ida. Ida. Okay. What took you so long? Well, Why do they have to write nice. their names uh, in this way? <laughs> the reunion must wait. Right. First things first. Yes. Let's get back to being heavily outnumbered. <laughs> you ditched your Magitek armor. Fool of a Lalafell! Well, excuse me. She's all yours if you think you can do any better. She's alive! Get wrecked, bitches! But there's no one in there. This is Sid. Can you hear me? I need you to count to five, then jump. Understood? Well, this is cool. One. <laughs> two. Three. Four. Five with a nod. Let's go. That is a nice airship. I know not which is more pitiful. The charlatans who rule Eorzea, or the masses that clamor for their implausible panaceas. I see that which they cannot. This realm founders for want of a ruler with true power. The power to cast down icons. If you continue to deny this truth, it is the people Rip who magic will armor. suffer. Right? Embrace reason. Who knows, maybe we'll see it again. Oh. What in the seven hells? Oh. Oh no. Oh, this might be a while. It's here. Twelve preserve us. They finished it. Ultima weapon. So it has a name. It is a relic of ancient Alag, excavated from its resting place deep beneath Alamigo. The Alagans used it to crush Primal I'm so and used to alike. H's. And now the Galians mean uh, to be, do the like same. making like sounds, uh, like softer, softer and fricated. Damn you, Gaius! Look there, beside the Black Wolf, an Asian. Oh no. Big magic armor. An overlord, no less. His garb attests to that. La Habrea. It could only be him. Is it though? Plot twist! Thancred! Was La Habrea? No. No, this cannot be. We oh. have to go now. Hang on. Thancred! No! I, I know the voice acting gets better so they get her expansions, but damn, that could have been delivered so much better. Like, the one game where I can say that, like, screams like that sound actually authentic is Corpse Party. All that time, the enemy was beside me, and I never even suspected. And to think that it was I who suggested that Thancred investigate the Asians. 
How could I have been so blind? Small wonder the enemy knew our every move, and where to find us! Confound it all! No. No, this is not the time for self-doubt. The Alliance leaders stake their hopes on the Scions, but now they believe us all dead or missing. When they learn of the Empire's new weapon, we cannot be certain what they will do. We must go and offer them what assurances we can that defeat is not inevitable. Cryo? This is Minfilia. The situation I'm may have taken an haste. ill turn, me if I seem but the battle is far the from over. And so long as we stand together, Why there shall you? ever be hope of victory. I'm sorry to press, but we need it the people of Eorzea I'll falter for want of such hope. Let us provide it. Let us bear to them the tidings that the Scions of the Seventh Dawn are returned. Nuts. Matters are coming to a head. I hope we can count on you. My regards to Grandfather. I am ready. Let us pay a visit to the Council of the Alliance leadership. Let's go. All right. Oh, it's still going. <laughs> okay, and this is stuff that I have to read. Uh, let me see who we might read out to. There's a lot of folks that we might uh, be able to read out to, but I'm curious on writing out to someone who is um actually I know exactly who we will write out to um if I can see pronoun tags uh, anyway, they are having a birthday stream and return and returning to streaming after a little hiatus. So, unless uh, you guys want us to write out to someone else, we will be writing out to Fox Res. Before we go any further, let me get the raid message out. There's the version for passersby. Here's the version for. Road to 33 Codex The Road to Dusk leads the dream ushers and company shush, to shush, you. Shush, shush, Gato shush, yell at N.I. Noi. You, you can't pronounce my flippin' language worth a damn shush. And then here is the version for subscribers. Before we write out proper, let's finish up this cutscene and finally be done at this game! At least for tonight. Now let's take the Black Wolf and his new toy. Rally all available forces. I want them ready to move upon my word. And relay to, Slaffer no, to Slafferson the order to sail. That is all. The Maelstrom stands ready. What are the flames? Ready as well, uh, ready as we're like to be. I need only give the word to Royale. He's short. Has there been no word of Ishgard? None. The dragons have got their tons. Silent at last. I was unwise to hope for better. What would stir the Archbishop to open his holy mouth if not this? And he claims a fury for his god. Tis bad comedy. The Holy See has made its choice. We will proceed without its cooperation.
My word. I believe we are all acquainted with the terms of a Black Wolf's ultimatum. We must agree upon a course of action, not less if the fate of Eorzea hangs upon the declaration of this council, or decision of this council. Val Balsar claims to wield the power to smite primals. Should we yield to him, he pledges to rid the realm of its false gods, yet offer resistance, and he swears that we shall shame that we shall share the primal's fate. Pardon me, my bluntness, but I like not these choices. This is too great a decision for any one of our four nations to make alone. Of course, we the choose we surrender our resistance, we must answer as one. For if but one surrenders, the rest surely shall fall. Let us pray for the wisdom to do right by all our peoples. There we go. Let's finish up talking with Minfilia. Tancred's plight troubles us all. Yet we cannot allow anything to come between us and our goal. So long as the ultimate weapon exists, Eorzea will never know peace. Let us go to the Alliance leaders, Gimor, and help them to make the right decision. All right. Let's get going. Let me get my own music going. Unless, hold on. Checking a the theme. Okay, just got a little concerned from something for a quick bit. So, let's officially uh, raid out to Fox Res. Don't forget to copy the raid messages if you feel able to. Alright. Just wanting to double check that they're actually still streaming. And, yep, okay, so... Let's raid out to Foxrez. Let me double check that I am spelling their name right. As they are currently playing a Lethal Company with some friendos during their birthday stream. I'm going to use they them for now because I don't see anything overtly in regards to like pronoun markers. If they correct us, um, on stream, like, that is more than understandable, so let's be mindful of that. So. Oh, excuse- invalid username. What? Derp. Here we go. Do you know that while this is the end of stream, this is not the end of our time together, as the road to dusk will always be open for another adventure. Thank you all so, so much for sticking around. Please have a wonderful rest of your morning, afternoon, evening. Hold up. Ah, whatever time it is in your time zone, as we say. Bye bye. <laughs>